Katie versus the New Mexican Breakout, round three. For round one, I tried the Amazonian clay mask. For round two, I tried a peach oxygen bubble mask. For round three, I try some do-it-yourself oatmeal masks. Wednesday morning. I use the same mask Wednesday night. So, French vanilla creamer that I hadn't opened yet. Mm -hmm. um, mm. Let's do it. Mm. Alright, now I'm going to put on a face mask that I made that I will probably talk about in a different video. Let's stop looking at my coffee pot for us. just a second. I know it's beautiful, but... It's my balcony couch. <laughs> Um, let's see, we're, we're, we're up higher, okay. All right, this is my face. And today, I think it's Friday, let's see. So, I'm outside on my balcony, trying to show you guys what my cheeks look like compared to the other day. I had a couple friends on my nose, a few over here, six or eight over here. And even since then, the Climax I've been using, I think it literally just sucked everything out of my face because I've had more blemishes since then. But they're all starting to go away too. This is Friday. Um, so, so that's what Siri told me. I hear my coffee pot telling me it's time for coffee. Either that or it's backing up. Mm, I'll leave. Okay, so I am about to apply this mask that I made. You can kind of see a little better in here. Um, it already looks so much better. I'll probably use this mask now. And then we'll see what happens tonight. I haven't been putting anything else on my face. No extra moisturizers because these oatmeal masks I make, you guys, there's moisturizing in themselves. And sometimes I use another scrub that I make to take it off if I let it get too dry. And that's also very moisturizing. So... I haven't been putting any, even not even my regular moisturizers on my face, but my face has not been dry at all, which is part of the problem, I think, with this breakout. It's a, something just got, my face was just full of stuff. It was like a full face of poor feeling yuckness. So anyway, now that all that like, terrible stuff has been sucked out of my face, I want to put better things all over my face. I'm gonna leave again. Okay, this is what I'm about to put on my face. It is ground oatmeal. I grounded it as finely as I could. Um, but I just put a little bit of green coloring in here, some green dye to make it look like it smells, which you know the Wrigley Spearmint Gum? Do they make that still? It came with like five pieces in a pack and it was little Anyway, that's exactly what it smells like. And it, it's, I, I used spearmint essential oil in here. Some tea tree oil, some vitamin E. I mean, it's not just oatmeal. Obviously, there's different 
things, but oatmeal is the active ingredient that's really helping my skin a lot. It's supposed to control redness, and also I know that green is supposed to neutralize redness, so in my head this is going to help that situation too. Normally after I wear an oatmeal mask, my face is red for a little while because I do kind of have to scrub it off. It gets dry and hard. I've been spending a ton of time trying to unpack and find things and decide what I need and what I don't and things that I don't have, like dish soap and a scrubby brush thingy. Like, those are important. I don't have laundry detergent or paper towels. So, um, like, there's really actual important things I need to be doing. But I, uh, without further ado, I'm going to put this on my face, maybe take a picture, sip my coffee outside, and then once I take it off, we will chat again about the shenanigans on my face. Okay, love y'all. Okay, so that's on my face. I just used clean hands and just rubbed it all over my face. In circular motions, did a little bit of exfoliating, but I'm really trying not to irritate my skin at all right now because it's already irritated. And you know how it is when you're already irritated and something irritates you more. It's like you just get exponentially irritated. It's not even the, the natural irritated progression that most people would have. It just like quadruples and then ten quadruples. And I can't make words. I just woke up. Let's see. I was going to tell you something. Oh, my dad called a minute ago. So I was able to talk to my dad. So that's cool. And also, um, I commented on a video of Nikki Tutorials, and she gave it a heart, and I died. So, I come to you from the afterlife. This is starting to get hard to move my lips. It's, t it's tightening up. Woo! Um, it feels so good and smells so good. Oh, mm. uh, I'm not wearing pants. Hey! I'm filming right now. Say hi, YouTube. Oh, hello. <laughs> That's my neighbors. They're so beautiful and awesome. I just met them a couple days ago. Makeup is so personal. Some people like the way that greasy primer feels on their face. That makes it to them. It makes it feel really smooth. To me, I just feel like I smeared Vaseline all over my face. I don't enjoy that. Some people would not be able to deal with this oatmeal on their face because they can't deal with texture. Shane Dawson would not be able to deal with this. But if I could get somebody to hold him down long enough for me to put this on his face, he would like it. He just needs to let it happen. Let it happen, Shane. Let it happen. Okay, before I get distracted by anything or anyone else, I'm going to go wash this dryness off my face. And we'll most likely be adding a moisturizer today, but I can't wait to see what it looks like. So, if you want to see what it looks like when I take this off, we'll see if I am victorious over the New Mexican breakout or did it take me down. Keep watching if you want to know. This is the face scrub that I made. You could use it as a, a lip scrub or a body scrub. But um, I usually get uh, use this to get the oatmeal masks off my face. It's mostly, I call it, um, I can't remember, ocean, Himalayan Ocean Breeze or something, I don't know. It's mostly pink Himalayan salt that I dyed this color and put a lot of really good stuff in there. Mostly coconut oil, but also some vitamin E and it smells so good. It has some vanilla flavor and skin in it and it's, it's about to help me get this off my face. I'll also sell this, so hit me up at my email address below if you're interested in this at all. I will ship it to you, um, at least inside the U.S. I've never tried to ship anything outside the U.S., but I do have a friend. It's not food, baby. You're not going to like that. Oh, let's take a picture. Oh, you're beautiful. Can I have a kiss? So sweet. Sorry, I got distracted again. Um, so, yeah, I'm about to use this to take this mask off my face, and then we're going to look at my face. Okay. Hello again. Look at this face. 
It's so different from three days ago. It's different from yesterday. Let's see. Let me get. There's like one ray of light right here. Let me see if I can get in it. Yeah, I don't think that worked. This is the worst side over here, I believe. But anyway, no, it's great. This oat, oatmeal masks. You guys, I'm gonna do a, a DIY video on these oatmeal masks because. They only last for about a week. I wouldn't be comfortable really shipping one to somebody because I don't want it to go bad on, along the way. It's food. So just because it's something you can use every day if you want to, doesn't mean you should have like an unlimited supply on hand. So I'll mention this in my next video, but please when you make a DIY mask with food, you keep it in the refrigerator and throw it out or use it within a week. Just make enough for a week or so and then make it again. Just make it every week. Anyway, my face. This breakout. I think at the end of round three. TKO bitches. I won the breakout. Round three. Me.